set stretch I'm going to talk about is the bow. It's at page 104 of the canine conditioning book, if you have it. So the bow is a great stretch for the dog's spine, neck, and hip flexors. And the bow is also something that dogs do very naturally, whether it be stretching or in play. We've all seen the dog trying to initiate a play. That does this beautiful play bow. Um, there are a few ways to teach it. You can use a magic, magic square. You can lure your dog underneath a klim. Or you can just, some dogs just take to bow very, very easily. Is I would lure him underneath the klim. Okay. okay. And I would lure, lure him very slowly. Good boy. As soon as he gets to, into that position, I would treat. Good boy. I would let him hold it for as long as he's comfortable, and then I'd let him put his bum to the ground. Okay, bud? Good boy. Okay, so for Sebastian, I would sit there and put the treat to his nose and kind of push down and back a little bit and force him into that position. It's like, help. Good. As soon as he gets into that position, good boy, I would hold him there with a treat for a little bit. I'd release. Good boy. I'd wait for him to either fall or I'd say, said you break. Okay, that's the second way you can, you can teach a bow. So the third method of teaching your dog a bow is through a magic square. So a magic square is something that has four bars there. Clearly, it's a square, okay? So what happens is you're basically molding your dog into the square. So they'd be putting their front paws in, and then you'd be luring them from this bar here, okay? And because they're stretching their neck and going under this bar, and that bar is underneath their abdomen, they can't lay down, okay? Okay? Now my dogs are too big to do this exercise in this because they just end up pushing their weight through it. But in theory, the way you do it is you get the dog to put their front paws and then you lure them into the bow through that size. Okay, with a smaller dog, they will just mold themselves underneath instead of pushing through it. Okay, again, great way to teach a dog about, about but for a giant breed or even a large breed it gets a little bit trickier just because they've got that weight advantage.